today's video i am going to solve a problem from functions of complex variable so here we have to show that the function u x comma y is equal to e power x into cos y is harmonic and we have to again determine the harmonic conjugate v and the analytic function f of z see here what is given so u is equal to this is e power x into cos y is given so we have to show that it is harmonic so in order to show that the function is harmonic it should satisfy the laplacian equation what is laplacian equation laplacian equation is nothing but do square u by this is do x square plus do square u by this is do y square should be equal to 0 so for that i have to make a double derivative with respect to x and double derivative with respect to y first of all i am making derivative with respect to x for e power x it is e power x and cos y remains and again double derivative with respect to x is again e power x into cos y so now u with respect to y so e power x i have to leave like this and for cos y this is minus the sign y so double derivative with respect to y is nothing but for sine y this is again cos y See, now I have to add up these two. That is, do square u by, do square u by do x square and do square u by do y square. See, this is u x x plus u y y value is equal to, this is e power x cos y and here this is minus e power x into cos y. So, the value I got is 0. So, after getting this value as 0, so I can see that it is satisfying the Laplacian equation therefore u x comma y is equal to therefore u x comma y is equal to this is e power x into cos y is harmonic this value is harmonic now i am going to find out the harmonic conjugate so what is the harmonic conjugate v x comma y so to find harmonic conjugate to find the harmonic conjugate v x comma y i am going to use milnes thompson method see here this is milnes thompson method so according to the milnes thompson method so we have f of z is equal to as usual so this is u plus i v i am going to make a derivative with respect to x so this will be do u so this is do u by do x plus i times of this is do u by do x. So we have CR equations. What are those CR equations? The so CR equations are nothing but C here. So we have to apply CR equations. So CR equations is nothing but do u by do x is equal to this is uh, x is equal to v y. Do v by do y and do u by do y is equal to this is minus do v by do x so by i have only u values so u is given as e power x into cos uh, y so i have to transform this do v by do x in place of do v by do x i can write minus do u by do y so i am changing this equation as so in place of uh, do v by do x i am writing i am using the cr equations as f dash of z f dash of z is equal to this is do u by do x minus i times of this is do v do u by do y according to the cr equations do v by do x is equal to minus do u by do x i have all the values ready here what is do u by do x do u by do x value is nothing but see here f dash of z is equal to do u by do x value is nothing but e power x into cos y minus i times of do u by do y so do u by do y value is nothing but so this is minus e power x into sine y see if i multiply f dash of z is equal to this is e power x into cos y minus of minus plus i times of this is e power x into sine y so according to the milnes thompson method so we have to replace replace x by z and y by 0 so in this equation if we replace then f f dash of z will be in place of x i have to write z and in place of y 0 that is i into in place of z 0 and this is sine 0 sine 0 is value is 0 so this value is 0 and therefore so this value is 0 and therefore what remains f dash of z so this is 
f dash of z is equal to e power z. Now, if I take integration, that is f dash of z is equal to this is e power z. So, if I make a integration on both sides, that is integral dz and here integral dz. And what happens? So, what remains? f of z is equal to. So, f of z is equal to e power x plus some c. So, f of z value is equal to what is e power x? e power x is nothing. z is nothing but x plus i y plus c. See here, f of z value is nothing but it can be written as e power x into e power i y plus c. So, f of z can be written as e power x in place of cos e power minus i y can be written as this is cos y plus i sin y plus c. So, if I multiply, so f of z value is equal to e power x cos y plus i times of this is e power x into sin y plus c. So, as you know that f of z is equal to, you know that f of z value is equal to this is u plus i v so this is u real part and v this is imaginary part therefore u x comma y value is equal to e power x into cos y and v x comma y the conjugate of u is nothing but e power x into sin y and the function the analytic function f of z is equal to it can be written as e power z or else so f of z in terms of x y can be written as e power x cos y plus i times of this is e power x into sin y. So, this is how we have to solve and using millis thompson method. It is so simple if you follow these uh, uh, steps. And thank you so much for watching. If you really like, you know what to do, please subscribe to this channel. Share it with your friends and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching and staying till the end.